this is ambient flush. Today's tutorial I'm gonna show you how you can blend images in together. I'll be using the image from the Battlefield 1 and the Star Wars Battlefront. Here are the images I'm using today and I'll be adding them into the one image which looks like this. So let's start. Opening the Battlefield 1 image We'll make selection using the marquee tool, selecting whole image and click Ctrl X, cut it and open the project file and click Ctrl V to paste it. I'm gonna select size, hold down shift when you drag on the corner and the image stays in the right scale. Now select lasso tool and start making selection. This selection can be a rough selection pretty much around the areas you want to see or make the selection for. Let's select here and I want to see the landscape here and the windmill. So here and select it from below here and they will connect. Next select select and mask and this is one of the easiest way to make selection like this. You will like here select it and there is the size of the tool and you can zoom in with Ctrl plus and zoom out with Ctrl minus. There is a plus and minus signs, the other one brings it back and another one erased. So you can start painting on the edges and it makes it kind of nice blurry edges for every everything so you can just self decide how much details you want to go with this and, and afterwards you can use the layer mask to make it better this is like the first stage of the selection in this kind of images and I also want to see the windmill and these three lines And when the selection is done, you will click enter. And now I want to make a copy of this. So I'll click here, layer via copy. And you can hide the background. Now you see what you made for selection. And I made a little small mistake in uh, here. So I will fill it now using the, let's make a lasso tool selection around this area here. This was actually a mistake, but I will add it in this tutorial how you can make something like this. So I will make here with the lasso tool selection around this white area here, like this, and right click and fill and use content hour. And there you go. Next, adding battlefront space behind this image. So I'll select it and again copy it with the Ctrl X and paste it in here and drag it behind this image and you can use the free transform tool to move it around when you go on the around you will see you can turn it or resize it i don't want to see the space junk in this image only want to see the planet planet and the lights and the stars. Now we'll click it here. With the enter you select it here. Now there is some parts in this image you need to erase. So I will go here, select image and click on the layer mask icon. Now layer mask is active. A layer mask works with the black and white colors with the brush. So this white box needs to be selected. Select the brush and you need to select the brush which has these fading edges. If you take the totally white circle here, it makes a rough, rough edges which is not good when you are blending images or erasing something. It's, it makes this kind of rough. 
So select this icon here, it has these settings, its hardness is zero and I will use the size and start brushing with the black color to hide everything and the white color brings them back. So this is the point when using the layer mask. A little bit speeding this. Next I will click here on adjustment and brightness and contrast. I will make it a little bit darker. This panel fill one. And for top of these images I will add photo filter. The photo filter makes the color in one gives it like a color effect. And you will click here on the icon right here and you can change color and I'll be picking some kind of a red color here because the planet in the background might give a little bit of red effect and on this you see how it affects so I'll click here on a photo filters layer mask and same way I will brush it away from the over which is now affecting on the background because I don't want to affect it there. Next adding a new layer here I'm going to take select for screen and select white color or you can take the color from the light from here and take the brush, select capacity and the size, I'm going to make it really large and make here a small lighting effect here. There is all something from the background which needs still needs to be erased away and this is something which usually takes a lot of time. Next I'm opening the Battlefield 1 image and I will make exactly in the same way doing the selection with the lasso tool of these areas you want to see so making a selection with the lasso tool in the same way and selecting whole image you can select and the mask tool blurring the edges and making a better selection here and copy it and paste it. Now the photo filter effects on this image, so it needs to be top of this filter. And here, also make layer mask and paint on these places you don't want to see in this image. This is just something you need to use your imagination and how they all will fit into the gather. And also I want to add this kind of a fire into the image in exactly using the same tools I already told you. I will add it right there and make a layer mask 
and blur it all the edges and now you see there is a tree sticking out in other layer you will remove it and also take care there is no sharp edges in the images also blur them away now you see the explosion has a little bit different color than the like the fires in behind so I will add new layer with the color and I will pick the color from this wood fire here forest fire and I will just color it in top of these layers using the brush and it gives it a, another better look in this explosion you can always add some colors in these images to make them look more like they're fitting in the I will add this fighter and actually I will use them both I will make selection here and copy it and paste it in top of these images and I will add them in around here in this space part and I will make it behind the battlefield 1 layer which has the windmill so there you go And for the selection for this first, I will use the pen tool. I will zoom in and select the pen tool and start making the selection. When you make a good selection using the pen tool, you don't need to do much more other work. So we'll connect the post spots and click Ctrl Enter and I will duplicate this layer, layer via copy. Now it's, it's been selected and next I'll be selecting the fighter here using the lasso tool. Select lasso tool and make selection around this laser and with the fighter So I will duplicate the first layer here and I will click here filter and blur and use the motion blur. You can add a motion blur effect in this and when you add a layer mask into the motion blur layer and you will brush a little bit away it gives a nice little effect. And some little final touch in these. I will click here on a brightness and contrast and select the overall overall brightness and the contrast. And you can click here for more settings if you want. I will let's go for a color balance, a little bit changing the color. And you can also add a little bit more if you want for the photo filter. And I would say this image is now pretty much done. Thanks for watching. This is Ambient Flush. See you in the next video.